Okay, so, so far you have cleaned up and prepared your spreadsheet. Um, then we uh, sorted it by cart and by slot. Um, most recently, you have created individual sheets within this um, Excel workbook so that you can put um, the inventory details for each cart on an individual page. So right now we're going to start moving that data over because yes, I have this cover page that has whole group data in it for carts 1 through 25 in this example group, but on cart uh, page number one, cart one, I don't have any data here yet, or for cart two, or for cart three. So we need to take care of that. So I'm going to highlight the data for cart number one. And you can see right here is where we switch from cart one to cart two. I'm going to right click and copy that. I'm going to go to the page for cart one. I'm going to uh, right click on cell 2A. I'm going to paste, and there's all my student data for every single um, Chromebook assigned within that cart for cart number one on my site. I'm going to do the same thing for cart number two. So I'm going to come here and grab this, and as you can tell, I'm sure you can predict, um, you're just going to follow this process of copying and pasting that data over for each cart. Um, for every cart that you have on your site. So I'm going to go ahead and do three. Um, just to show you that process again, you highlight, which is a click and a drag. You stop when it switches from cart three to four. You right click it, copy it, go to the sheet for cart three, right click and paste it, and there's that information. Okay, so from here, I'm going to actually take you through um, how to reassign. So we're going to go back to cart number one. Once again, I'm going to highlight everything and um, ask it to auto fit to the width so that it's easier to read. So let's say, um, you know, the school year started and we're getting near to Christmas break and um, Andrew Jackson here is leaving our school and we have a new student coming in. And so I have this Chromebook that is in cart one. It's the fourth Chromebook and we have the serial number here, and I actually need to reassign it. So I'm going to put the date that I would reassign this. We're going to use today's date. And then I'm going to put the reason it's reassigned. I'm just going to say add um, or drop in an add. And then I'm going to need a student, a student ID. And then I'm going to need a name, a middle name, and a last name. And then you just save this document, and in this way, um, if anybody comes onto your site and is looking for your Chromebook inventory list, and, you know, for example, they're saying, what's going on with Chromebook number four and cart one, you can open up your document, go to cart one, um, look at slot number four, scroll across and see that it was reassigned on the 19th because there was a drop and then an add, and that this Chromebook is now in the hands of Chrissy Evans and her student ID number is here. And so that's all that you'll need to be able to do in order to reassign Chromebooks on your site in the future. Thank you.